Good evening, everybody. How's it going? Another Sea Dragons game is in the books, and it, it, it was a great game. No doubt about that. It was a great game. Uh, team has a lot to be proud of. Team also has a lot to uh, work on. And at the end of the day, I guess we're just not quite as good as the uh, Defenders. And that's understandable, I guess. The Defenders are the best team in this league right now by a pretty good margin. Um, they, they're, they've they already clinched the playoff spot. They're, uh, they've got one loss on the season. And they you watch this game today and you understand why they, they have that 7-1 record. They're the one team I feel like we played this whole year where the, the way they just consistently apply pressure um, to uh, quarterbacks is uh, unlike anything I've seen with any other team we played so far this year. So, uh, yeah, they uh, they got it done. They deserve it. Obviously, it was back and forth, a lot of fun, a lot of opportunities for the Sea Dragons to win that they just couldn't quite capitalize on. Um, I mean, it's as close as it gets, right? But um, to me, that was kind of the thing that really stood out with this game that I haven't seen from other teams in this, this league. And to me, that's, well, there are really two main reasons why the defenders won. One was I felt like they were consistently able to get in and disrupt Anucci in the pocket. And the other one was, uh, obviously Jordan Tamu on, on third down was just absolutely killing us. But, uh, yeah, you lose a game by one point, you lose a game in the final 30 seconds, you lose a game where literally the whole game comes down to a two point conversion where you basically never really have a chance. The play just gets immediately blown up. And you don't want to make too big a deal out of one play. That did feel like a little bit of a microcosm, though, where they're just a little bit stronger and a little more capable. So I look at that one play, and I do kind of see a bit of a microcosm there, where they, they're they just able to apply a little bit more pressure than we are. And that, that made all the difference here. So, yeah, it was a great game. I don't feel too badly about it. Obviously, we lost to the best. But now we're kind of in a situation where next week is for all the marbles. If we lose next week to the Battle Hawks, I don't see how we get in. Because at that point, we'll be firmly third in the division. And even though we may end up with a winning record, a 6-4 and four record, uh, hard for me to believe a 6-4 and four record would be any higher than third in the division. And at third in the division, good luck. So we are probably looking at a situation where it's going to be um, win next week and get in or lose next week and be left out. And it's unfortunate that a team that will probably be worse than us will get in in the other division, but it is what it is. And at the end of the day, if we can't beat the defenders and battle hawks once in four tries, probably don't deserve it anyway. But this game... I got to give it up to Danucci. That was probably, and I know I say this a lot, but that was probably his best game of the year. The interception was kind of a fluke. Got knocked up high in the air. Defensive lineman was able to run underneath it. Um, it was tough for him at first, especially that first, I'd say, 35 minutes of the game. He's just constantly getting pressured, constantly, constantly just not really able to even have a chance to set his feet and make throws down the field. And... He, he held in there, man, and that second half, he hit multiple big plays deep down the field to keep us in. I mean, there were multiple moments in that fourth quarter where it just felt like the game had gotten away from us, and then he would just find a way back in. Even when we got the ball, when we were down seven points with two minutes left, I was wondering, like, how are we going to get it done against this defenders team when they know they're just going to have to pin their ears back and rush the passer? And to the credit of June Jones and Ben DiNucci, they were able to put together a 90-second drive, 70 yards down the field for the touchdown. And that was something that I didn't have a ton of confidence in at the time, but they're starting to earn that respect of me expecting them to be able to go do that because we are seeing in this league right now, when you are put in those do-or-die situations, offenses usually put together good drives. And now this offense is starting to become one of the offenses that I can trust to do that. And obviously, I think that the this game, when you look back at it, is going to be remembered as probably the best game the offense played this year, only having the one turnover. Um, look, we couldn't really run the ball. We couldn't really run the ball. So that's another thing that I look at Danucci and I go, we were forced to be one-dimensional, and he got it done. He got it done as good as you could hope. I'm not saying everything is perfect. I'm not saying every pass is perfect, but he was making chunk plays down the field too. It wasn't all just like, you know, four yard, four yard, four yard, four yard. No, 
he was hitting it down the field too. When he got time, he pushed it down the field. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with him right now. He's strung together some really nice performances. Um, you leave a couple points on the board by kicking field goals, sure, and that ends up coming back to bite you. But I, I don't put a whole lot of this game on him. I can't put a lot of this game on the off, on the offense in general. They have running back injuries right now. Somewhat understandable that there would only be a little bit of contributions from the running game. And it seems like it, it took most of the season, but this offense is finally getting to where people were hoping it would be the whole year. You had June Jones, you had Josh Gordon, you had Ben DiNucci, a guy who's actually played a little bit in the NFL. You expected things to be really, really productive. And for a lot of the season, it wasn't. But it seems like as we're moving towards the end of the year here, it's starting to really uh, settle in to be the kind of offense we were expecting. That is exciting. They didn't have one more play tonight. I understand that. That's frustrating. But here we are. So really, for us to lose this game, it comes down to this defense. And uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jordan Tomu throws four touchdowns, all of them on third down. Bad tackling. Abram Smith still running over Sea Dragon defenders as we speak. A um, lot of a uh, lot of penalties. We had a roughing the passer that turned into extra points. We had like three or four pass interference calls. Lyndon Stevens, by the way, uh, a lot of people are saying he's not healthy. Needs to sit down for a little bit, a little bit of time. Unfortunately, I don't know why we kept him in there when he clearly couldn't keep up. Uh, we also jumped off sides like three times in this game and gave the defenders some free plays, which that didn't end up well for, good for us either. So the discipline issues that I talked about a few weeks ago are kind of back. Ultimately, you could say, I mean, look, when you lose a game by one point that comes down to the last 30 seconds like this, you can narrow it down to one of dozens of different things and say, that's why we lost, that's why we lost, that's why we lost. And everything you say is true. But... Um, I think the thing that really stands out here more than even the defensive woes were the penalties. We had, a, I think, over 100 yards of penalties in this game, and it, uh, it it played a huge role in this game because when we didn't commit defensive penalties, you saw at least flashes of, like, forcing big negative plays. We had a couple sacks on Tamu. We had several tackles for loss on, their, on uh, Abram Smith. There were moments where we were able to force them in to uncomfortable situations, and frequently we would bail them out with a penalty. A couple of our penalties came on third down, so we basically got destroyed on third down in this game. Now, the defenders obviously are one of the better offenses in the uh, in this league, so not terribly surprising, but a lot of it is on you. Like The, the defenders are not forcing you to jump off sides. You're doing that. The defenders are not forcing you to commit obvious pass interference. You're doing that. Now, like that, that last third down, the last offensive play the defenders ran where the guy runs a crossing route across the field, gets open, catches it, and then breaks one tackle and goes to the end zone. That, that's them doing stuff. That stuff is going to happen, especially when you're playing a really good team. But the, the, the P.I. can't happen. The, the offsides can't happen. The free plays can't happen. The roughing the passer on, I believe it was third down, can't happen. So... Yeah, definitely a frustrating loss. I can't be too down on it because we played really well. Um, we played a team that is obviously really good and hung in with them. But uh, now we're in a situation where we kind of have to win a game next week against the Battle Hawks or else forget about it. And we'll probably be a 6-4 and four team that's outside the playoffs. All right, see you guys later. Go see Dragons. Good game today. Couldn't get it done, but uh, it, it's a good team we got. It's a fun team we got. Hopefully it just ends up meaning something.